Hi, this is Vakar from Content Studio and in this video, I'm going to give you a short demo of the influencer discovery product that we have inside Content Studio. Uh, when you go into the Content Studio dashboard, you can uh, get to this module by clicking on discover and then influencers. And there you'd be able to see this influencer dashboard and uh, you'd be able to search for influencers on Twitter and Instagram right now. Uh, we have almost completed work for YouTube influencers and maybe by the time you watch this video YouTube influencers and then some of the other networks in future would also be available uh, inside this influencer discovery module uh, so as you can see there is a quick search option here so for example if I'm looking for maybe social media marketing influencers uh, then I can search by that keyword and I can quickly see a list of social media marketing influencers and uh, I can uh, view the results in this form or maybe I can view the results in list form for a better visualization and you can see this influencer has total tweet 7.3 K they have 2.3 million in, uh, followers uh, 452k are following them and their average interaction is 42.47 and uh, similarly there is a complete list of influencers and uh, you can see how many tweets they have how, how many followers they have uh, and if you would like to see more details regarding any influencer you can click on their name and this will open uh, a new model where you can see what kind of uh, information or what kind of um, what kind of stats do we have regarding that influencer so you can see that what are the top hashtags they have used um, on their uh, Twitter account uh, and what type of content they share and what are the domains from where they share the most content. So you can see that Neil Sheffer has shared the most content from his own domain, Neil Sheffer. Almost 45% of the content is shared from his own domain, but he also curates content from other domains like Search Engine Journal, Adweek, uh, Business Insider, and some of the others. And you can see their uh, percentage uh, share as well. You can see what kind of posts they usually share. So mostly it's positive or neutral and less negative uh, sentiment posts. And uh, the language is uh, English, uh, almost 100%. So next you can see um, who have they mentioned mostly in their tweets. So Matt Southern is mostly mentioned by Neil Sheffer and some of the other people that have been mentioned by Neil Sheffer are listed here as well. So maybe this can be a good way to find more influencers uh, regarding your original niche. So for example, if you're looking for social media influencers and Neil Sheffer is mentioning these influencers, so we can probably see that they are somehow related to social media marketing as well. And we can see what kind of tweets Neil Sheffer has been putting out. Uh, you can see all of the tweets and what kind of retweets and what kind of engagement they have been getting on their Twitter account. So this one uh, post has got 14 retweets. It's, it's mostly curated content. You can see uh, how to create a YouTube channel on a budget and it's probably uh, a link shared from uh, a website maybe his own or maybe some other website but it's mostly link posts that is one of the core cases or core use cases of content studio that we help you find good quality content that you could share on your social media channels and that is exactly what neil sheffer is doing here so you can see uh, he is using content curation to uh, grow his uh, Twitter account and uh, if you'd like to see what kind of articles Neil Sheffer has been sharing you can see that um, this article has uh, been shared five days ago shared by 49 other influencers and it has got 188 engagement on different social networks as well so that's uh, pretty good and uh, I guess you can see what are the other Twitter influencers who have shared this piece of content so you can see that apart from Neil Sheffer, Search Engine General, Eric Rogers, um, Engage Digital, and some of the other influencers I've also shared this piece of content. Uh, so this uh, is a pretty good way to, to find influencers and dig more into 
um, their connections and the kind of content they have been sharing uh, on social media channels so that you can get more insights and then make valuable use uh, of those insights into your own business. And if you want to follow or unfollow an influencer, you can quickly do that from here as well. Uh, if you if you'd like to create a list of influencers, for example, I would like to add maybe uh, social media today or some el someone else uh, into my list. So, for example, if I want to collaborate with them and I, I I want to have a list that I can probably give to my virtual assistant or my uh, my colleague who is then going to reach out to those influencers, then I can add these to the list and uh, I can create a list and add the influencers in there. And then once the list is created, you can uh, get the list uh, from these saved lists as well. So for example, I have this person added in here in the content marketing uh, list. And uh, whenever you add someone in the list, it will be popped up over here as well. Now let's go back to the original search and uh, um, and uh, if we add any other person in the list, uh, we can get them from the saved list. Now you can see that we have some other filters here as well. Like we can sort um, by relevancy, by total tweets, by followers, by following, by average interactions. So if we want to see who has the most, uh, uh, who has the most interaction on their posts uh, in this uh, niche, social media marketing, then I can see that this, uh, these are some of the accounts that have top interaction on their accounts. And uh, if I want to uh, see who has the most tweets, I can filter that easily as well. So you can see this person has tweeted 758,000 tweets uh, on their network. Um, now, if, if I'd like to export something into a CSV, I can quickly do that as well. I can select the fields uh, that I want to have in the Excel sheet, uh, and then I can export it and uh, maybe forward it to my team for you know the next processes. Uh, apart from this, we have uh, some other filters as well. You can uh, sort filters by different types, like whether they're bloggers, influencers, companies, journalists, or what kind of uh, like their influences. And uh, uh, if we want to have only verified Twitter influencers, we can do that as well. And we can also get influencers from different countries as well. You can see the numbers of how many influencers do we have from different countries regarding this niche. Okay, now let's go to the Instagram influencers. So Instagram influencers has almost the same set of features. Uh, you can sort it by list or by grid view, and uh, then you can perform all sorts of similar functions. Uh, you can see how many posts they have, how many followers they have, and uh, how many are following them. Uh, and you can also see their average interaction an estimated cost per post uh, for promotion uh, or for collaboration with them. You can also have uh, an estimated cost uh, that you can, you know, assume that they are going to cost this much if you want to collaborate with them per post. Uh, so this is a good idea to see what kind of, you know, influencers you can collaborate with. Uh, and you can also then create a list in a similar way and then forward it to your team or whatever, you, in whatever way you want to collaborate with them, you can do that easily. And then we have uh, the same kind of filters here as well. Uh, so this is the influencer discovery module that we have inside Content Studio to help you with your content marketing and your collaborations uh, and uh, boosting your social media marketing as well. Uh, right now we have, as I mentioned, that we have Twitter and Instagram. YouTube is coming pretty soon. We are all already done with the backend development work. Um, and then we will work on some of the other networks as well. Uh, now, if you'd like to see how does uh, the content studio compare with some of the other products in the market, then uh, one of the products that uh, is pretty popular is uh, Heapsy that is used for finding influencers and you can see their pricing. It has almost the same set of features that we have in Content Studio and you can see that uh, their starter plan starts from $49 per month and you can have access to influencers. We have almost the same set of influencers. Uh, you can uh, create lists and notes and you can do basic search. But if you want to do uh, in more, you know, if you want to have more data, like you want to have engagement search, you want to export them, you want to have their contact details, then you would have to pay $169 per month and upwards 
um, according to the features that you need. So you can see that um, you can compare the pricing of Content Studio and Heapsy, and then you can see uh, which one suits you best. Obviously, Content Studio would be better priced and would be much more affordable uh, than any of the competitors out there because Content Studio is an all-in-one tool and uh, you can see that we have content discovery, we have influencer discovery, we have publishing module here that helps you with all of your social media and content marketing. And then we have analytics, a complete analytics module. We have social inbox here as well uh, that helps you with your customer support on social media and managing your conversations on social media from a single place. So you can see that Content Studio is a complete all-in-one suite for your social media and content marketing. Now the decision is yours. Uh, whether you want to get this influencer discovery add-on or not, uh, but I leave it here and uh, the ball is in your court now. Thank you.